When we read the Bible, we have to remember that we're not reading a history book, though there are historical events in it. And we're not reading a science book, though the facts of the world are also in it. The Bible is God's word to us, God's communication to us. So we read the Bible with prayerful hearts, open to what God wants to tell us. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and as we read the beginning of the Bible and the story of creation, it's important for us to keep this in mind. God created this beautiful world, and it reveals something to us of his goodness and beauty. St. Ignatius Loyola, the founder of the Jesuits, would look at the stars at night, and tears would well up in his eyes. He was so moved by their beauty and the thought of the God who created them that he cried. Yet, of all the created wonders of the world, the human person is the greatest wonder. Here's what Pope St. Leo the Great once said in a homily. Use creatures as they should be used, the earth, the sea, the sky, the air, the springs and the rivers. Give praise and glory to their creator for all that you find beautiful and wonderful in them. Rouse yourself and recognize the dignity of your nature. If we are indeed the temple of God, and if the Spirit of God lives in us, then what every believer has within himself is greater than what he admires in the skies.